Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use the Lagrange's method of multipliers to show that the stationary values of the given function a cube x square plus b cube y square plus c cube z square and the condition is 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 1 occur at x is equal to a plus b plus c by a, y is equal to a plus b plus c by b and z is a plus b plus c by c. Now the given function, we will take it as f of x comma y comma z which is a cube x square plus b cube y square plus c cube z square and the condition we will take it as g of x comma y comma z which is 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z and 1 will take to the other side so minus 1. Now we have to write auxiliary function capital F of x comma y comma z comma lambda because this auxiliary function will be in terms of x y z and lambda it is equal to f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z now let's substitute here so capital f equal to a cube x square plus b cube y square plus c cube z square plus lambda into 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z minus 1. Now we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. So a cube is constant. Differentiation of x square is 2x and all the other terms are constants plus lambda into 1 by x differentiation is minus 1 by x square and the rest of the terms are 0 because they are constant. When we do partial differentiation with respect to x, the other variables are constants. Now partial differentiation with respect to y which is b cube into 2y plus lambda into minus 1 by y square. In the same way, partial differentiation with respect to z is c cube into 2z plus lambda into minus 1 by z square. Now as per the working procedure and condition, we equate this to 0 and from this we have to find what is lambda. So this is a negative term and uh, let's keep lambda into minus 1 by x square as it is and this first term if I take to the other side minus a cube into 2x so we can cancel both the minus after that let's multiply this x square to the other side so lambda equal to a cube into 2x cube so 2 we will write it here and x cube we will write it here so let's take this as the first equation. In the same way, if I take lambda from the second expression, we will get 2b cube y cube. Let's take this as a second expression. Then from the third part, f is equal to 0 if I take lambda. The value of lambda will be 2c cube into z cube. So we get three expressions. Now we are going to equate all the three because all are lambda. By equating we get 2a cube x cube equal to 2b cube y cube equal to 2c cube z cube. Now we can cancel 2 everywhere. Then by taking cube root for each term we get ax equal to by equal to cz. By taking first and second that is ax equal to by we have taken the first and second from this we can get b this sorry y b will come down. So a by b x is y. In the same way let us take the first and third and get z. ax equal to c z. So a x by c is z. So we got the values of 
y and z in terms of x. Now we are going to use the condition 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 1. So let's take it here. 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z equal to 1. And let's keep the x as it is. And for y, we have to substitute from here. That is a x by b plus for z again a x by c. Now this b is present in the denominator of the denominator. So it will go up. Even the c will go up here. So finally we have 1 by x plus b by a x plus c by a x equal to 1. Now let's take 1 by x common. This will become 1 plus b by a plus c by a equal to 1. Now we have to take LCM. LCM is nothing but the common denominator a. So here it will be a plus b plus c equal to 1. So 1 by x equal to this term will go to the other side as a reciprocal. So a by a plus b plus c. By taking reciprocal, we get x which is a plus b plus c by a. This can also be written as sigma a by a. Now let's substitute this x in the expression y. y is a by b into x. That is y equal to a by b into x. So a by b into x is a plus b plus c divided by a. So after cancelling this a, we get y equal to a plus b plus c by b. This can also be written as sigma, it is sigma a by b. Because it is a summation a plus b plus c, so it can be written as sigma a. In the same way, let's take the z, which is a x by c. So z is equal to a x by c. So let's keep a by c as it is. And x is a plus b plus c by a. So we are going to substitute here a plus b plus c by a. After cancelling this, we get the value of z, which is a plus b plus c by c. So, we got the values for x, y and z. x is a plus b plus c by a, y is a plus b plus c by b, z is a plus b plus c by c. Even this can also be written as sigma a by c. So as per the question, we proved that the stationary values of this function where the condition is this occur at x, y and z at this point. So we got the values of x, y and z. Hence proved.